Hello, friends. Welcome to the F Society IRC podcast, a Mr. Robot review show. I'm your host, Heroja Shai. Hello, I am Heroja Shai, the moderator of this channel, and this is F Society IRC podcast, a Mr. Robot review show, and this is my review of episode 409, Conflict. Uh, didn't do a live review. I got down with the sickness. It took me out almost like almost pretty much like two weeks really uh, started last week and it just really got to me but here I am here's Beersley and we are here for this review of the return of the hacking of uh, the show uh, Team Elliot pulled it off um, and I have some thoughts on that a couple different ways ones but uh, this was a very interesting episode it was like the meeting of the minds if you will uh, the main characters of the, the, the this episode was you know Elliot Darlene Mr. Robot Team Elliot uh, Price who's Team Elliot adjacent and White Rose and we pretty much we're still on Christmas Day I think we're at the ending of the episode I think we're finally out of Christmas Day uh, and um, not sure how much of a time jump there is, but I, I, I think we can say for say for sure by the end of this episode we are no longer Christmas Day. Um, very fascinating how they were able to stretch this all out. Uh, it, it made sense. Uh, it worked. It, it built the tensions. I, I imagine when I finally do like the full rewatch for the series or anyone who's binging this um this season is going to flow very nicely because everything is taking place in the the single time frame so you're watching it out back to back versus now you know in real time where you have to wait a week for the next episode but um when i initially started this uh review for this season and i noticed like the they're using um as with every season there is a kind of like a computer code or attachment to each season and this one was the HTML error codes and I was like some of these some of these you know episode titles are um, have some kind of could be very ominous um, you know tones and conflict is one of them um, basically is the you know the not the final battle, but the battle between, you know, Team Elliot, Dark Army, White Rose. Uh, so we pretty much pick up where we left off last episode with, um, <coughs> kind of like we had like the meanwhile with uh, Darlene and Dom. So Darlene's um, at this meetup room that's across from the meeting place uh, to be able to snag the phone numbers from the dais group Elliot eventually does show up but it's not Elliot it's Mr. Robot because um, after going to all safe and setting up for the hack Elliot just says he's kind of he, he can't deal with um, the revelation that he got in 407 so he's taking a time out if you will and um, Darwin is not having it she's never liked the Mr. Robot personality and she knows the difference between her brother and Mr. Robot and is very clear with the um, the conflict between the two of them um, so we have that and then we have um, basically the very beginning of this episode opening um, <coughs> excuse me opened up with the meeting of the altars uh, we had young Elliot who helped Elliot realize some stuff about himself um, Mr. Robot we've seen since the very beginning um, his mother and um, they're meeting in that kind of bore like meeting skyscraper place and there's an empty seat and they ex we'll talk about this towards the end but we've had that kind of bit and I'll save that towards the end I have some thoughts about that but basically it's it's go time and they're behind um, Team Elliot, Darlene, they're the last of F Society, the last of this hacking group. They got to hack these numbers and they need to get all 100 DS group member numbers or the hack's not going to go off. 
um, they kind of broke down the details for us much more, a little bit more reiterating much clearer details. They need, you know, Mr. Robot, who's there, um, breaks it down. They need to capture the phone numbers first, all 100 of them. Um, once they've captured, run the script and captured the phone numbers and identified them by matching them to um, the counts from being in the, the, the Cypress National Bank servers, they then are gonna wait for the, the 2FA codes. And once the 2FA codes are sent to each of the accounts, they're gonna snag them and then start shifting the money. And, and I'm gonna leave a little bit towards the end there. So this is what they need to do. And they have a device that's gonna capture all the phone numbers. But Mr. Robot senses it, darling not quite, but senses that there's something off about this meeting because um, you know, they have a little tit for tat, like Darlene's wondering where her, how, the hell her brother's been. She's like, I told you the Dark Army's looking for you. Where have you been? What's going on? I've been having kind of a bit of a day. He's like, I got held up. Things got sideways. She's like, sideways? Let me tell you about sideways. And before she can kind of get into what happened to her, uh, Mr. Robot kind of cuts it off and says, hey, it's not a pissing con con contest, sweetheart. And that's when she knew, realized that that's not her brother there. She wants to know where her brother is because she knows the only reason why this personality, Mr. Robot, is out is something has happened to Elliot. Mr. Robot won't tell her. He says Elliot's going to have to be the one to tell her they need to get back into this hack. And they're um, setting things up in the computer. And Darlene is like, again, she's starting to walk. And she, she's someone who will walk. And Mr. Robot's trying to reel her back in. They get a knock at the door. You know, it's nervousness, who knows, you know, what's going on, and it's Price on the other side of the door, and Price has shown up, and Mr. Robot's like, what the hell are you doing here? What if somebody sees you? You're going to expose us. And he, he's like, I have something for you. And he's like, you know, it's a little late for more demands or any kind of demands going on here. And Price is like, it's not a demand. He has a USB stick. He gives it to Elliot, Mr. Robot. He's like, I need you after this hack to destroy White Rose's machine. Mr. Robot's like, what for? White Rose is gonna be done. She's gonna be broke. The Deus group is done. <coughs> and Price is like, this is something Angela would have wanted. Darlene's in the room and she's like, she's not saying anything, but she's looking at the both of them like, how the fuck does Price know about Angela and all this? <coughs> Which goes back to their lack of communication between the two siblings about, you know, one, even though Darlene kind of knows now, like she believes that Angela's dead, that she doesn't know that Angela's dead or that Price is uh, Angela's father. Which I'm curious to think, wonder if it's something that Elliot or Mr. Robot know, if that's a bit of information they even know. They might not know this. Um, but they know that there's a, or he probably does know can't recall it's been a very tense season um, but basically he says this is something Angela would have wanted price says this um, you know destroy this machine and so mr. robot agrees price leaves goes across the street because that's where the meetings taking place this, you know um, Angela and Elliot are set up in a room, apartment, or hotel or something across the street so they can get a line of sight. So as soon as the Deus group members meet up, they can snag the numbers. And so they start setting things up. Darlene's like, what the hell's going on? I want to know what does he have to do with Angela? He goes, I'm going to fill you in. Just, you know, we got to get going. <laughs> We're like so behind. So Price, you know, goes across the street and he's going to... Um, meet with White Rose, he enters the place, he sees all the Dark Army people, but he knows something is off, and um, it's just him and, it's just him and White Rose in this, in this table, and he knows, he kind of figured this was going to be the thing, but the play, if you will, but he's playing it close to the vest, very, both of these characters are very, this is fleet pettiness, if you will, between the two of them, um, but coming back to the room, so, Price is on the other side, and Mr. Robot's like, there's something off. Like, it's all the security. Why so much security? Why is the Dark Army, like, very heavily obvious presence? White Rose must be on the other side. Where are the other members? They're kind of late. It doesn't make any sense. 
something's on. So they start checking Tyrell Wellick's phone. Because Tyrell Wellick's supposed to be at the dance group, but he's not going to show up. And they check his phone, and they realize there's another meeting place, another location. This is not the meeting place. So they need to haul ass to the other side of town and set up and try to get these numbers. So Darlene starts scrambling around, getting the devices. Um, they have all these little Raspberry Pi things set up. And Mr. Robot's like, no. I'm going to stay here and I'm going to get White Rose. And she's like, like, I can't do this by the, myself. There's only one capture machine. And he goes, you take it, you go, you get the numbers. I'm going to get White Rose's number because she's here. And so they split. She doesn't want to split, but she splits and goes and heads off to the actual location for the other meeting. And we'll, we'll get back to um, that in a second. Um, so he's in this room, Mr. Robot, and he's figuring things out, trying to suss out like what the hell's going on. And on the other side, in the, the meeting place that's supposed to be where all the dance group members are supposed to meet, Price and, and White Rose have their, you know, their last tip for tap for you, with each other. They've never liked each other, never gotten along really well. And White Rose just pretty much breaks it down to Price, like, you know, um, nobody else is going to be here. The meeting is somewhere else. I was just, you know, thought we should meet one last time. This is how it's going to go. Tyra Wellick is going to, you know, woo the members and impress them as the new CEO. You're going to be taken by these gentlemen and you're going to have a heart attack at home. And that's, that's the end of you. You know, I won. Ha 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 ha. Price is like, Really? So uh, he starts thinking, drinking, whoa, oh, huh, really, huh, that's what's going to happen. You know, and this is like, you know, Price's head. You know, Way Rose is touchdown dancing right on Price. And Price is like, huh, you think that's going to be the, the case here, you know? I know you, you know, and the, one of the things that, that Price, White Rose wants from Price is like where Elliot is. He, he knows he, they were working together, and Price doesn't quite deny it, but he doesn't confirm it either. <laughs> And he starts drinking the, the the champagne, if you will. He says, you know, we never got drunk together. Let's, you know, let's have a little party, if you will. And, um, you know, he's like, you know, I, I, you know you're know, you going to be late to this meeting. I, I think the members are not going to be very happy with you. They might, in fact, mutiny. And White Rose is like, why would they be mutiny? I'm just going to be a little late. And he goes, oh, well, because, you know, Wilk is not there. And that's when I was like, hmm. So I know that everything's on crunch time. I know that Tyler Wellick died Christmas Eve. I know the Dark Army Van was found Christmas Day. In the morning, you know, they. I guess you could say the Dark Army's been looking for Tyler Wellick and they haven't found him yet. But for her not to know like that solution yet, um, it was a little perplexing, but I think, you know, given that everything was taken in such like a 24 hour time period, that it, it's within the realm of probability. So, White Rose is like, gets her assistant. And her sister shows up and goes, We've been looking for Tyra Wellick. We haven't found him yet. Um, you know, everyone's at the meeting. We should probably kind of go there. And White Rose is like, no, find well a location, stop searching for him, something's off. And Price is like, you know, and White Rose is talking to Price, kind of like, this is your play, you know, Wellick, you did something to Wellick, he goes, I, I have no idea what happened to Wellick, I'm just, he could be dead for all I know, or off in the southwest, driving a 65 uh, Camaro or something and uh, having the time of his life I have no idea and the assistant's like you know we should warn the Deus group this is obviously something Alderson is doing Price is not going to tell you anything he's he's one we need to go we need to clean everything up and do another fight another day if you will and Way Rose is not having it and she goes we need to find Alderson because obviously he's doing something and he's like Alderson is keep the hack she's like let's delay it and then ship it and then White Rose is like no 
We are not delaying this project. He's like, and the assistant's like, you're not listening to me. You're not listening to reasoning and rationale. You've been defeated. Let's go. White Rose is like, no. And she like, she quits right there. She like slams the tablet that she was like giving all the information and fucking walks off. And I'm like, oh! And so was Price. He was like, oh! Walks off. She was not having it. And it's gone. <laughs> she said, Bo. And I'm like, this is probably like the most boldest person on this show towards White Rose besides Price and Elliot. And I, I need answers to that relationship. Why is she able to be this bold as an assistant? What the hell's going on here? So, <laughs> so Bo, she goes off. Price is like, no, well, it's bad management when your best employees quit or blow their brains out. And it's like, keeps drinking. Like, this man is just like on the sauce. And, and White Rose sits down and is like, this is your play. What is your plan? And, you know, they're, they're having this conversation here. And... <laughs> oh man so I'm gonna get to Darlene in a second because I just think this price and um, White Rose and Elliot kind of deal going on here and Elliot knows there's something up he needs to get White Rose's phone number he figures White Rose is over there but he can't go over there because of security and he's, so he calls Price's phone to that's out what's going on. White Rose sees the phone call and goes, so who's on the other line there? And Price is like, I don't know. So White Rose picks up the phone. And Mr. Robot, well, Robot's like, uh, you're not Price. And White Rose recognizes the voice, you know, because she's spoken to Ellie before on the phone. And she goes, oh, Mr. Alderson. And they start having a conversation. And he goes, you know, we should meet. And Mr. Rowe is like, you bitch told me we weren't going to meet again. What's changing your mind? And White Rose is like, you know, if you knew some, you know, his information about this, you know, $9.99 deal I had here, these easy installments of this fantastic package, uh, I can get you in, you know, at the a bottom low interest, you know, low rate. First come, first serve, primo customer. You wouldn't be acting this way towards me. And Mr. Robot is not buying, as Price calls it, the con um, that she's selling. The, the uh, vaporware or uh, dreams will happen deal with the machine. She go, He's like, I'm not buying it. You're full of shit. You know, obviously something's going on. With, you know, and White Rose is pleading with. Elliot basically or Mr. Robot if you will uh, not you know it's not what you're doing you know it's have a meeting in the minds if you will like really seriously you know I got this great offer this great deal and you know you know there's something I haven't told you and White Rose is down in the, in the little area and Price is listening on you know it's about Angela and this is what kind of Price kind of got and I thought Price was going to say something in this conversation but he's just Oh, he's seething at White Rose. And he goes, and um, what about Angela? And the Elliot, and he goes, you know, and you think Angela's dead? And he goes, you sent a fucking picture of her dead body. She's dead. He goes, you're one of those people that believe what you see? You know, I thought you were a little bit smarter than that. I can, you know, I can give you Angela. I, I, I know there's things that have happened in your life, which makes me think he's aware of what, the revelation that occurred in 407, what happened to Elliot in his childhood. And some of the other stuff has probably happened along Elliot's life. And even Angela, she goes, you know, I can fix that, I can change that for you. And this is when Mr. Robot disappears and we finally get Elliot back. And there's a long pause because there's a transition and White Rose is like, are you still there? You know, are you there? Hello? <laughs> me um if they're all this time never mind um but uh he's like yes I, i'm here i'm and uh you know white rose is trying to work on elliot like you know i can get you angela angela will be here easy installment 9.99 
this this deal and Elliot doesn't go for it he's very emotional he's like you know you tried this on Angela you you changed her as a person she wasn't who she once was she turned into something else and you killed her and there's really nothing you have to offer or to say but you know you can't help me but you're in some pickle and stuff and that's because as they're talking Ellie gets a text and Darlene tells them to turn on the television set and that's where you see this F Society video Darlene made uh, just spilling the fucking beans if you will about the Deus group and um White Rose is pissed and we'll get back to her reaction but so meanwhile while Price and you know Elliot and uh well basically Price and White Rose are having this t -t 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 Darlene goes to the real meeting place she scopes out the place it is locked down like fucking Fort Knox and she's like shit she can't get into the building She's scoping it around. Um, they really emphasize the fact that she's not going to be able to get into the building like you know, using any kind of social engineering skills or anything like that. By the fact that uh, one of the workers is working the event, as you see the event, you see all these rich you know, guys in there. And there's like a Trump lookalike, if you will, um, in there, uh, hamming it up, talking and stuff. And they're, they're talking a little bit of stuff in there about, you know, Where's White Rose? You know, it's Christmas Day. They all got summoned here. What the hell's going on? There's not even Tyra Willick. And they're all just kind of milling and coming around, coming from these very long flights to make this meeting. And White Rose is late or not even really there. And they're, the purpose of their, this meeting is not clear to them, really. Um, there was a worker trying to go out for a smoke. The security's like, get your ass back inside. There's no smoking. So Darlene's looking around, looking around, and she's like, oh goes to this boutique shop, breaks in, um, sets up her stuff, sets up her equipment, if you will, um, and she makes this video and puts it out into the world um, as a, a delay tactic, tactic, if you will, to kind of, as she tells Elliot when she calls Elliot after the video, to smoke these Dexas group people out so she can get these numbers. So she makes this video, she does this really sweet move of breaking in and stuff, so, um, and, and does like a dress up, uh, you know, this costume shop, if you will, and has the F Society mask and does everything. And it's very interesting, you know, the media after, you know, 7-7, they're considered a terrorist group, published, you know, um, worldwide, it's on the news, it's going through social media that F Society still has this kind of cachet, if you will, like obviously because of their terrorist group, but the, like people are resonating still with F Society, which draws attention to the location and um, brings news people and stuff like that. So there's a mass amount of people kind of surrounding this location. And um, so the White Rose, you know, hang, Elliot hangs up uh, on White Rose. White Rose sees the social media stuff, and she's like, really kind of pissed and irritated. She's like, but at the same time, she feels like this is like a slight, but also like kind of an amateurish type of slight. And she like yells at Price, "This is your move. You don't think I can survive a doxing? This is what you're gonna do to me? You're gonna fucking dox me? Seriously, clown? Come on, I'm White Rose. Seriously." And that's not exactly quite what's going on. Um, Elliot and Darlene have a conversation. Meanwhile, uh, Price and White Rose are still at um, the false meeting place. And Darlene's like, you saw the video? He goes, yeah, you know. And she realizes that she's talking to Elliot, her brother. And she's like, she's trying to reach him. Like, what's going on with you? Are you okay? He's like, I don't know. But we kind of need to do this. He goes, start, you know, start setting up, doing the hack. Um, I still need to get White Rose's number, but I think I have a, a plan. There's a cell tower. I will try to get the number from White Rose because it's not going to work if we don't have her number. And so Darlene is going forward with a hack on her end, and Elliot is going to uh, basically social engineer all the different like cell tower stuff to try to get access to the cell tower to get White Rose's number. And 
So they're both scrambling to get this hack off. Um, Darlene uh, knows where the um, all the limousines for these guys are at. So she scopes it out, sees that they have like a you know garage door thing that flips up and down. She uh, hacks into it so she can lock it in place so none of the cars can come out. So none of the members of the dais group can um, come out of the place. That way she can be able to snag the the guys cell phones when they come out in the open waiting for the rides that are not going to show up on time so another delay tactic a social a social engineering place to kind of smoke these guys out draw a crowd to cause a, you know kind of a barrier of people to slow down these guys being able to exit so quickly and then a delay of the limousine so she can start running the scripts and trying to get these numbers so the Deus group members are seeing the social media posts. This is permeating through the group. White Rose is trying to keep them there at the location. She says, don't go outside, don't go to the meeting. I'm going to be there soon. You know, getting phone call after phone call after phone call. And getting really flustered and flustered. And it's like, time to go. Nice try, Price. But you're not going to win. You're going to be so dead. You know, still kind of touchdown dancing. Price gets up, you know, it's kind of the end of the days for him. He's kind of, he's kind of, kind of getting frog marsh out there by, out of that location. Meanwhile, Darlene is running the scripts. Elliot is scrambling in the other side of the, the way, if you will, trying to get White Rose's number, trying to get in the cell phone tower. Darlene's running the script. She only has 99 out of 100. This, this is not going to work without White Rose's number. He, he sends her some numbers. They're sending back and forth information. Are you matching anything? He's not matching. Um, we need to get this number, stuff going on. Elliot's like, you know, everything's coming. As Mr. Robot talking to us, the friends still, you know, why do we cut these things close? They're still doing stuff. Uh, more and more people are starting to show up. These guys are now out of the building. They're going to freaking leave. They're kind of disrespecting White Rose, if you will. They want to get the hell out of there before people, you know, before their faces and everything, their presence is really known. But there's a delay of the car, so all these you know rich douchebags are out here on their cell phones, and that's how Darlene is able to scramble the numbers. But they're still missing this number. It's really crunch time. Price is getting frog marsh out. He's getting out there, and he's like, ah, oh, nice, crisp winter. You know, I'm feeling the breeze. I'm feeling this winter day. And White Rose is like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? I. I got dudes all around me, okay? They they can you gonna really have me have them haul your old ass into a car. Come on, that's some dignity, you know? And you know, he's like and he starts he he knows he kinda needs to give Elliot some time, so he's he's trying to do that for Elliot, I think. And also he probably doesn't wanna get like a heart attack at his place. He he's trying to get as many dicks as he can with White Rose before the end comes. And Price is, <laughs> she's just, oh, he goes, and one of the things before they leave, that it was really great, let me get the line, um, before they leave the meeting location, before he gets the frog march, he goes, ah, imagine that, some pipsqueak in a hoodie. It's gonna take your ass down. And, you know, the thing of it is, ah, you know, I never liked Mr. Alderson. He's juvenile, he's anxious, you know, he's not, you know, but uh, he's useful for me. He's going to get the job done, and you know it too. Ah, imagine that, imagine that. You know? And it was a, like, piss squeak in a hoodie. Piss squeak in a hoodie. That should be a tagline. Um... So, you know, he's still, you know, kind of getting frog march, having this little delay, little conversation, and <sighs> Price is like, you know, I almost kind of believed you with that con about Angela, even though I saw you kill my daughter, saw you drag her dead body out, but that's, that's the thing with you, with your con, you know, you, you play, prey upon people's hopes and dreams, you preyed upon Angela to be able to undo the pain she suffered, but he's like, pain's part of life. 
you can't, you know, you can't really undo that. That's part of existence. You have to deal with this pain. And you just prey upon it with your goddamn con, with your little freaking machine that you got going on there. And Way Rose is like, just staring at his ass like, I can't wait for my men to kill you. <laughs> and so they're having this and Elliot's able to snag White Rose's phone number because she's out in the open. And she's, he sends it to Darlene and Darlene has the final number. So she runs the hack. The hack's going through. These guys are getting into their cars. She's got these numbers waiting for the 2FA. She, she kind of needs them to be there to get the 2FA. So, but you know, F society's kind of blocking them a little bit. You know, the, 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 the peoples, if you will, the little bit of people that are there. Start snagging, 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 snagging these 2FAs. And they freaking pull it off. They freaking pull it off. They get, they have all the numbers. They get the two FAs. They're snagging the money, and it's a hundred and forty billion dollars. Talk about that towards a little bit towards the end there, about about this hack. Um, and then White Rose starts getting all these beeps. And White Rose looks at the price and goes, oh. And she's seeing what's happening. And she looks at Price and goes, oh. He goes, and he goes, to, she goes to Price, like, what are you, what's going on here? He goes, oh, I, I, I think we're all, you know, we're all broke. And Price, you know, Elliot, you know, Elliot, you know, uh, talks to his robot, hey, you know, we did it. They're packing up. Price is just, you know, ah, oh, just enjoying the winter winter weather and uh, having a little touchdown dance of his own because he's kind of winning here and Rice is where is like where's my fucking buddy <laughs> Philip and he goes oh, I don't know it's, it's, it's gone and well hell breaks loose uh, you know at Darlene's location, because she succeeded the hack, all, all these guys are getting the notification that their money's gone. My Rose knows her money's gone. Phil knows if I, money's gone. Elliot is, you know, leaving the hotel and just, whew, White Rose just takes a gun from one of her men and freaking kills Price. It's just, boom, 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 boom. And before Price goes, for the win, Price tells White Rose, you know, you didn't like exactly lose the game. You just ran out of time. Just all oh, that set her up. She just so Price is dead. Elliot sees this as he is scrambling, out and kind of ninja sneaking out of the like really not ninja sneaking because there's nobody else on the street. Like even in New York, there's not like random people walking around or whatever. Uh, out of the hotel across the way, like the goons wouldn't see him or something. Um, Dark White Rose's dark army guys picks up White Rose, like forces her um, into the car, scrambling. They scramble the hell out of here, leaving a dead price. I mean, if anybody was in the area and all the cameras, or whatever, it, people know she did that. Um, so once again, another person doesn't survive Elliot. Another dead body. No one's getting out of this alive. Price kind of knew this is the deal. Um, so he's dead. Mr. Robot kind of talking to us and says, like, like that, Rome has fallen, the Dexas group. Um, Elliot scrambles away. White Rose sees his little pig squeak hoovy ass getting away, but she's forced into the car. I'm surprised she didn't yell something at her guys to kind of try to snatch him up, but it's like go, go, go time to get the hell out of there. Um, and that was a hack. They pulled it off. Uh, the show ends with White Rose at her home or location, the FBI, I'm assuming. Yeah, it is the FBI. Um, this is knocking on her door. They have a warrant for uh, her arrest. She is now in her full White Rose garb, her, that elegant dress that she wanted to wear, that she had her assistant steam to be ready when her project shipped out. She's got her lips done. She's, she's to the nines. Um, the FBI is like banging, like boom, boom. We got a warrant. We're gonna execute it, Mr. Zong. We got, we're gonna come in for your ass, basically. 
and they're like go 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 and um, they're like go 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 and um hail of gunfire and bullets is will be here and that was the end of the episode So, okay, my thoughts on the hack. Um, I know some of this like was way planned out. Um, I think the Panama Papers came out during 2015, and there's been another hack since about you know how wealthy people are avoiding taxes and all these offshore banks and how that's done within the banking system. And this is a story time told ad nauseum. I mean, HBC, I think, got in trouble for basically laundering money for the cartels, like red-handed in the billions, and so complicit to the point where they literally changed their drop boxes to instead of like these little tiny slots for envelopes or the money bags that people put in, or even kind of like the longer ones, literally you can fit a suitcase in the in, in the, the their deposit boxes and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> um, I'm not sure if all the Texas group's money is gone. Maybe White Roses and stuff kept it all in that bank is $140 billion, so that's a lot. But this is like the ultra wealthy. Like, they still have properties, they still have bonds, they have stocks, they still have assets in, in, in position, if you will. Maybe a good chunk of their portfolio is gone. Maybe for some of them, it's all their money, but. That was like the one thing, like, yeah, they, they took all the Dexas Group money. But that was like the one thing, like, all the wealth is gone, like, and it was only $140 billion. We're talking about multiple billionaires, multi-billions, it should be trillions, if you will. But I still, there's that. And then the other thing is, I, I know with wire transfers and SWIFTs and stuff, some of that can be reversed. But this is, the you know shady dark web thing so dark banking so i'm not sure how much of that can be reversed but it still happened and um, i have a link in the show notes from the kind of um the crypto um address that we got from the script from 408 there was some movement there it's not billions of dollars no or anything like that but there was like a lot of addresses that were mixed and sent into that address to kind of demonstrate the hack if you will when going off um that was my only thing that was the only thing that kind of took me out was um swift banking like days weeks or whatever and um the amount 140 billion which is still a lot um only being taken um the exposing of the Dexas group to the media, I think that would be very helpful for Team Elliot if you ever, if you will, but I still think they're going to be wanted by the FBI. They're going to probably go boop, up the wanted list if you have it. If you have it. Um, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it as far as the, the hacking aspect, which is like the bank transfer of the if it's going to stick or not um, aspect of it um, and I saw all sorts of different kinds of information on the whether it would or wouldn't so I'm not really sure um, the meeting of the minds so meeting of the altars if you will um, the council of Elliot so we've always known that there was kind of maybe a prime Elliot or a third personality if you will and at this point I'm not really sure where they're going with this because we understand why Mr. Robot is here and to some extent young Elliot and maybe it's a little sense to his mother the fracture in his mind and, and, and the kind of condition mental condition Elliot is but what else is there to be revealed for Elliot to have to be sitting at this meeting to, to know um, and the fact that the, I guess the real Elliot did show up two months ago and Darlene is the key. Um, the real Elliot talked to Darlene and then kind of resurfaced. He's not awake, which goes back to, I think, either season one or season two. Where Elliot does a mantra where, you know, mind awakes, body asleep, 
to figure out what Mr. Robot was doing for him to still be aware of Mr. Robot's existence. And um, I don't know what that's going to fundamentally mean for the rest of the show. There's three more episodes left. So I guess there's still stuff to ground to cover um, as far as taking down the Washington Township plant now and um, getting the hell out of Dodge. And maybe I, I don't know this this altered personality of Elliot's. Um, it felt very satisfying this episode. Like the hacks felt very believable. I do think it was just a little a little hinging on the fact that the Dark Army didn't know that Tyra Willick was dead or missing or not at the party. I think that was just a a little like plot device thing that the show doesn't really do but I, I guess with the timing and stuff and being all taken within like really a, a small short window I can kind of go for it but yeah um what are my other thoughts oh Dali being such a badass like I almost feel like she could have done this hack just herself and she's proven the skill set before it is I don't think Darlene is like the big master planner that's definitely Elliot but she's fundamentally like a utility player is able to do all the different pieces once you give her the plan she's like boom 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 so kudos to her um quick thinking quick on her feet watching that video and just the hack in general just putting it all together and just being really the pulling team te the, the, the team Elliot sled if you will through the finishing line because uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> Elliot got White Rose's phone number but he was not really really fundamentally here for all this but that's it. That's that's the end of the the episode. I I'm still struggling with 407. I I'm gonna get that out somehow. It's just a very difficult subject matter for myself to cover. Um, but that's it. I'm feeling better, so there will be a live reaction for 410. I I'm looking forward to seeing if Dom um, is here or not. And wow. Um, so we're down to Elliot. I saw the previous so Dom, Darlene, and White Rose. There are the four living people, and then there's the Mr. Robot, young Elliot, and um, the mother's altars. Those altars there. So we're losing people left and right. Oh, Chris is still with us. I'm hoping Chris doesn't show back up, because that would not be a good sign. But yeah, so that's it, friends. Um, this is Horja Shive. Um, this is F Society RSC Podcast, the Mr. Robot Review Show. Um, Logging off for now. Until next time, friends.